level. Take a listen. While the male infidelity rate has remained the same. Mm -hmm. For more, we're joined by Nadia Bokadi, a global editor of She Said. Okay, right there. Right there, you can already tell. This woman has the look on her face like the cat that ate the canary. Okay, so first of all, she's got all sorts of slut tells from the jump. And we're how many seconds in? We're 17 seconds in. We're 17 seconds in to this particular video. And already she's got short hair. So she's a feminist, which means she, which means she's a slut. Okay, let's continue. We're, we're, we're going we're gonna to point out a few more here. Oh, Nadia, how are Hello. you? Hi, guys. Boom, right there. You see the heels she has on? Okay, those are fuck me heels gentlemen those aren't those aren't guys listen those are not regular high heels those are not high heels that females should be wearing in public the only listen these are heels that females wear that are supposed to be pointed at the ceiling or the wall so all right and, and again here's another slut tell she's slightly overweight okay and she has a decent looking face but you can see that she has the thousand cock stare all within the first few seconds we can see that this is what the this is what red pill awareness does for men you can immediately pick up on slut tells look at those heels they're strappy they're high she can probably barely walk in them. she's probably she probably got fucked in them maybe two hours before she came out of the show and and what's with what's with the what's with the short hair right Let's listen in. Okay, what's behind the rise? So we're saying, what well, men were up here and women were down here and women have risen. We're catching up rapidly. We're catching up, but we're still not. Look how proud she is. We're catching up rapidly. Like it's some sort of competition, <laughs> right? We're catching up rapidly. L listen, look at her face. Look at her face. It's like the cat that ate the canary. Oh, men have been, men have been cheating all these years, but we're catching up. Yeah, like that's a good thing up there we're, so we're getting pretty close right. and the... look my personal theory is that it's pms related do you know what that is slurry pms uh, was that the pop k-pop band out of korea, <laughs> no, no. Out of korea? it's, it's so putting BTS, up with men's it? stuff oh how cute putting up with men's shit right putting up with men's shit is the reason why you have an iphone to summon a dozen cocks to your exact location in 20 minutes or less Putting up with men's shit is the reason why you're wearing those fuck me heels. Putting up with men's shit is the reason why you're able to sit there with that smug ass look on your face and talk about the fact that you're proud that females are cheating. This is what we're up against, guys. This is what we're up against. Look at her face. Oh, putting up with men's shit. He, 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 ha, ha, ha. Let's continue. Um, that's my, that's my thing. <laughs> See, it's all fun and fucking games. Everybody thinks this is all fun and fucking games and people wonder why men are so angry now this is not MGTOW I'm not gonna get all into when men should go their own way many many definitions of that I'll probably do a patreon episode on that just so that we can all get the record straight but this woman is making light of the fact that there is more female infidelity 40% more than there was 10 years ago it's like a big fucking joke to these people. <laughs> um, but no, I think it's mainly coming down to opportunity. Um, you know, we have more opportunity than we ever had before yeah. to, to stay. So technology. Ah, there's a nugget of truth. We have more opportunity has opened up hugely, the world of cheating, so. right? And not only just that, but the stigma has massively uh, eroded in terms of people um, having marriage breakdowns. Before, you know, a couple of generations ago, you got married for life and the biggest failure that you could possibly have was to, to admit to being divorced. Right. And, and, and again, she's telling the truth. And herein lies the problem. You guys see the, you guys see the list. Technology, changing roles, and changing culture. Okay, again, she also says opportunity. Gentlemen, it didn't used to be like this. If a female wanted to cheat, she had to make a concerted effort to... Listen, cheating is one thing. Anybody can cheat if they want to. It's getting away with it. This is, this is what we're talking about, right? Technology changing roles and, and changing cultures. Guys, if a female wanted to cheat, even as recently as maybe 35, 40 years ago, it took effort, man. You, you, had, to, you had to tell a lie wrapped in a story. I mean... There, there were so many elaborate things that you had to do because of the lack of technology, because of the slut shaming that was involved. And just like she says, the stigma has eroded. She talks about it like it's nothing. Guys, there's no more slut shaming, right? Why females cheat? Technology, changing roles, changing culture. Translation, I, uh, translation the smartphones and no more slut shaming and, and no more slut shaming.
Mm. Um, you, you had to stay in that, that marriage for the long run. We noticed on that graphic technology. You had to stay in that marriage for the long run. Think about what she just said. You had to stay in that marriage for the long run. Technology takes the top spot. And that's mm. on a lot of graphics we talk about the world changing nowadays. Do you think technology has given women the power to drive these relationships, go and seek out these relationships? Absolutely. I mean, there are whole websites dedicated, Ashley Madison. Look at, again, look at her face. Look at her face, guys. She, this woman is so filled with glee. Oh, there are websites dedicated to it. Technology. Look how, look how far we've come. Women have come so far. We can now cheat more than men. Um, you know, there are places where women can go and, and seek out extramarital affairs. And mm. it really comes down to the fact that women want a new way to feel seen in their relationship. You know, wait a minute. So let me get this straight. So when a woman wants to feel sane in a relationship, she goes to Tinder. OK, Cupid, plenty of fish. Think about what she just said. So in order to feel sane in a relationship, females have to cheat. That's the fucking problem. You're in a long-term monogamous relationship. I'm sure all women watching today can relate to the fact that, you know, you get very comfortable and you do get to that stage where you don't feel seen in the same way by your partner. So if a new person... Actually, you know what? <laughs> that's my bad. I thought she said sane as in you want to feel sane in a relationship. So that's my bad. I guess that's the, that's the accent. She says she wants to feel seen. So she just said it. So you get comfortable in a relationship, meaning that you get fat and stop trying. Then you wonder why you don't feel seen in the same way, right? And again, the reason why, and I've, I've, I've talked about this before, this is why girlfriends are better than wives, gentlemen. Girlfriends have an incentive to stay fit for you. Girlfriends have an, have an incentive to suck your dick. Girlfriends have an incentive not to be a fucking bitch all the goddamn time. You wanna know what that incentive is? That incentive is that you can get up and walk the fuck away for nothing. But when you marry a female, when, when, when the state officiates your marriage with a female, she's got you by the balls. And if you put a baby in her, dude, it's a wrap. So of course they get comfortable because they can. There's no incentive. There's no incentive to do the things you need to do to feel seen, right? Then bitches wonder why, and it's so funny. Women are like, well, when I get married and have a kid, I'm gonna chop my hair off, I'm gonna eat whatever I want. My man should love me for me. I don't care if I get fat, blah, 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 blah. Oh my God, why did my husband cheat on me? Oh my God, my husband's such a pig, he cheated on me. Why did he cheat on me? He's such a this and he's such an asshole. He cheated on me because you're fat and fucking bitchy. Giving you a new kind of attention, that can be very exciting. You've got some personal experience in this field. You were married. No, yes. really? <laughs> Yeah, well, I'm part of the generation of the starter marriage, which is another. What the fuck is a starter marriage? Somebody in the chat, please let me know what a starter marriage is. I haven't Googled it. I have no idea what the fuck a starter marriage is. Please let me, please, somebody clue, clue me in. We'll continue here. You know, example of the fact that the stigma is eroding around this sort of thing. And the starter marriage is women who were married and divorced before the time they hit 30, uh, which is myself. And yeah, you know. Married and divorced before she hit 30. This woman is this woman is in her 30s, gentlemen. She's in her 30s. Like is it, it again is 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 there is it any surprise that this chick is in her 30s? What is dude, what I can't even imagine what this chick's life is going to be like when she's in her 40s. Dude, in 5 years, 7 years, what is this bitch's life going to be like? Is she still going to be smiling like the cat that ate the, ate the canary, like the slut that ate a thousand cocks? Well, I had a lot of high hopes and, and ideals for the marriage when I got into it, and it didn't turn out to be what I thought it was going to be. And See, there you go. I had high hopes, and it didn't turn out the way I thought it was. That, see, see, see how very nebulous that is? We don't know. Listen, we don't know what happened in the marriage. Wait, listen, she might have been a bad wife. He might he, dude, he might have been a, he might have been a decent husband. She might have been a, she might have been a bad wife. Like this is this is this is what this is, guys. Oh, yep. You know what? I got married. I thought it was going to work out. It didn't. Eh, big deal. An opportunity came along. I was getting a lot of attention from another man, and I acted on it. <gasps> and I acted on it. Do you see how she just talks? I mean, look at her. Look. Look at her body language, guys. Strong voice. Her chin is up. There is positively zero shame. This woman is on national television talking about the fact that she fucked another man while she was married. 
right? And she tried to dress it all up well, and opportunity came along, and I acted on it. Look how proud she looks of herself. Look at her. There is, there, there's almost a look of defiance in her face. An, an opportunity came along, and I, and, and I acted on it like any woman would. Are these new concepts, of, if we go back in to the Bible, you know, thousands and thousands of years ago, is it the, will we hear the same kind of stories about cheating? I think we will. I think we will. <laughs> I think we will like like this some like 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 this woman is some sort of theologian like she has some sort of ecumenical degree. I think it's more my theory is that women are a little bit more confident to talk about it and to fess up to it and admit to it now. Well, that's not a theory actually. That is true. Women are confident and talk about cheating because there's no longer slut shaming. Um, because we are in the era of online dating and starter marriages and, you know, websites like Ashley Madison and people having open marriages and polyamorous relationships. Oh, here we go. Open marriages. You, 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 you hear about this stuff all the time. Uh, Kevin Ibanez, uh sent me an article a while back. Um, and dude, you can go on and you, there, there's, there are thousands of stories, thousands of articles out there about a man and a woman who decide to have an open marriage 11 times out of 10. The, the spouse who is getting the most action is the wife. That's how it is, man. It's the wife. G listen, guys aren't, dude, when there's an open marriage, an open relationship, okay, when they're, when there's an open relationship, okay, it doesn't it doesn't benefit the man. Only females benefit from open marriages and open relationships. Only women. So, it's really a new time that we're we're living in. Well, what's the research showing us about the reasons why women cheat versus the reasons why men cheat? Are they very different? Uh, they men do usually say that they cheat, um, you know, for for sex, for that for that sexual. Um, part that they're not getting fulfilled in their relationship whereas for women it does tend to be that it's more about being seen and felt noticed and getting that attention and definitely um you know that that can come through sex but it comes through a number of of other ways too a lot of women as well have emotional affairs you know this an old flame might right. contact you again online and suddenly before you know it you're you're messaging that person every day and you're it's telling facebook telling them things about your life instead of telling your spouse. Mm, so. I told you to shut down your MySpace, your MySpace <laughs> account. Um, the rise of female cheaters, is it sort of across the board or is it, is it, is it sort of age group specific? Look, I think it's across the... Let me go back here. She said, and, and this is funny, men and women, they cheat for very different reasons. She's right, and she called it. But you can almost see her hesitation, Right. Men say they cheat for sex, as she says that as, as if she doesn't quite buy it, as if to say that she still believes that men and women are equal, that men and women cheat for exactly the same reasons. But it's clear that's not true. And she knows that she dude, she cannot she can't hide. She can't hide what's really true. She wants to deny it. Right. She wants to deny it, but she can't. Lord, I don't think we can nail it down to one specific age group. I definitely think that millennial women are a lot more, we have a lot more access to it. Millennial women have a lot more access to dick. Yeah, no shit. Certainly than previous right. generations. So we're lot, a lot more exposed to it. But interestingly, there's research that shows that the age group that actually cheats the most for both men and women are people above their, their 50s. <laughs> this is the comment of the clip. People in their 50s, gentlemen, 50-year-old women cheating? Who the fuck, who is out here banging 50-year-old women? Dude, 50-year-old men don't even want to fuck 50-year-old women. Gentlemen, this is the classic rationalization hamster in that she is trying to convince herself that she can be sexually attractive in her 50s. Dude, this bitch is probably 33, 34 years old. You can see that she 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 has retained some of the some of her youthful beauty, but gentlemen, she is way past the wall. She does not look any anything like what she looked like when she was 24 years old, gentlemen. So what she's trying to do to make herself feel better about the fact that she is on the cock carousel, well, the age group that cheats the most, of, if, if in case you didn't know it, 50 year old women. Get the fuck out of here with that. 50-year-old women? Who the fuck is banging 50-year-old women? Check this out. Men in their 50s can cheat. Men in their 50s can get laid. Women can't. And where the fuck are these studies? 
Who in the fuck is banging? Who the fuck is cheating with 50-year-old women? Unbelievable. So, um, you know, that comes down to really? people people that have started in one generation where it has been, you know, the ideal has mm. been to stay in a long-term relationship. And then they've come into this new era where it's now acceptable that if you're not happy anymore, there are other options. And they're discovering these for the first time. But previously, couples worked on their problems. Yes. <laughs> in, in Right. But previously, couples worked on their problems. Yes. Oh, this is the problem with women, guys. This is the problem with females and millennials. If it's not easy, just cheat. Work on their problems? <laughs> it's laughable. Who the fuck wants to work on their marital problems anymore? She just, again, the way she laughed, she laughed at it as though it were just fucking, wait, work on your problems? <laughs> Who the fuck does that anymore? Committed to working on their problems. Yeah. Does it seem like there's a new generation coming through that's just all too hard? We're just like, oh, it's too hard. Let's just mm. not even bother. I think, you know, people are probably, when the going gets tough, some of us are going that. See that? Now, do you see the hesitation in her voice? Not so much confidence in her voice now. She's, again, they pointed out the fact that, hey, wait a minute, like, shouldn't you work on the marriage? She kind of laughed it off, but now she's like, okay, she's doing the math in her head. Okay, yeah, it's actually kind of a bad look for these millennial bitches out here to be just, you know, laughing it off and not working on shit and just cheating. And now she's trying to, now you can see she's rationalizing it. I'm done and it's, it's easier and there's less stigma. Certainly I experienced that when I walked away from my own marriage, I was quite shocked at how accepting everyone was. I expected a lot more um, judgment from people. You want to know why she didn't get judgment from people? Do you want to know why it was accepted? Is because in the beginning, she didn't tell them that she was fucking somebody else, right? She told, she told every, and this is what all women do. Oh, my husband was an alcoholic. He was abusive, terrible husband, terrible father, spent all of our money, blah, 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 blah. They bury the guy. Oh, and oh, by the way, I kind of had a little fling with Kevin in sales at the office. And you know what she gets? Oh, that listen, you know what? Having a little fling with Kevin and sales, that is not a big deal. He is a monster. It's the least. Listen, girl, you had to do something to get out of that situation. You had to do something to look forward to waking up every day. Get the fuck out of here. I think because there is less judgment, people are probably happier to walk away, maybe a little bit earlier than what they potentially could before seeking counseling. And It's with everything, though, like the toast you... And, he, and again, the, listen, guys, she's not talking... She's right. If you're having problems with your marriage, if you're not happy, walk away. But that's not what she's talking about. We're talking about cheating. She didn't walk away from her marriage. She cheated. She branch swung just like everybody else. So yeah, she's right. If you're having, listen, if you're having problems in your marriage, you try to work it. If you're having problems in your relationship, work it out. But if you can't, you walk away. But guess what, guys? Females don't just walk away. Females cheat their way out of relationships. Listen, females want all of the benefits of being in a relationship without actually being in a relationship, which means what? They want the dick. They want they, they want the committed dick without having to commit to the dick, right? They want commitment from the dick and the guy that's wrapped in the dick, but they don't want to have to commit themselves. And the minute and the minute they're a little bit unhappy, they go and hop on another dick. It's called branch swinging or raft jumping. To break used to fix the toaster. Yeah. The fridge break, you fix the fridge now, you just toss them it's away. See, the woman in the white is right. And again, she compares them to toasters and refrigerators. Listen, if your car has problems, you don't just throw it away and buy another car. No, you fucking take it to the shop, you go work on it. If the toaster breaks, you fix the toaster. Well, actually, if a toaster breaks, you know, you kind of get a new one because it's not really worth it. Toasters are like six bucks. But if, you're, if your refrigerator is on the fritz, you, you get it fucking fixed. You don't go out and spend another $2,500 fucking dollars on a goddamn toaster. Certification. Oh, I mean, yeah. I can get on an app and find a man like in a minute after I get like the app. <laughs> yeah, I can, I can, yeah, yeah, yeah. And it's so funny. She talks about this as if she's special. Well, I can just get an app and summon a dozen cocks. Do you? What? I mean, why? Why fix my relationship when I can just summon a dozen cocks to my exact location? <laughs> <laughs> but, you, but you also buy a toaster buy, and buy, a new husband. We well, buy a toaster online as well. Yes, um, yeah. Because we see the Kardashians cheat, some of the royals cheat, US pre uh, presidents, politicians cheat, is, there, is, is it becoming normal? Is it becoming more acceptable because it's being, it's everywhere? The attitude is shifting really dramatically. And it's not to say that, look, I'm not on here to say. I, You're not I, advocating this. I'm are not you? advocating right. cheating. Just, I'm yeah. not saying cheating is a good thing and you should go out and do it. I Yet you're sitting here smiling and laughing about it. 
saying try and fix the toaster. I'm saying, I'm not even necessarily saying I, that. I'm, I'm saying if something's not working for you, then you should have an honest communication with your partner about it. And if you, you're not able to solve it, then walk away. But that's not what you did, sweetie. We're talking about the rise of female cheaters. We're not talking about the rise of females who, who are having honest communications with their husbands and walking away. Females never, listen, what she's talking about is absolutely the right thing. You should absolutely, listen, fe women, if, <laughs> ladies, if you're not having a relationship, just walk the fuck away. But we know that that's not what they're going to do. It is not in their nature. I don't think there's the stigma now where you need to be having an affair because you're worried about keeping face, you know, for socially that it's going to look bad that you're you're walking away from a marriage. I think it is acceptable to say, look, we tried, it's not working, and now we're, we're splitting ways. So there's no stigma about having an affair, but... You're not advocating for cheating, but you want to throw out the broken refrigerator. Which is it? Okay, that's the solution you think. Yeah, yes. absolutely. Okay, all right. Is that lots why of people is, have lots of opinions? Yeah. Is that why, Kylie, you uh, tell me that you keep your spare toaster in the pool room? <laughs> is that why? Is that why? No, I just. Anyway, I'll, all I just, women have spare toasters, Larry. All thank women. you for coming in. Good to see you. And there it is. All women. All women have spare toasters. Guys, there it is. That's the branch swinging. This woman put female, fucked up female nature on display for all the world to see. Look at the look on this chick's face. All women have, have spare toasters, Larry, or whatever the fuck that guy's name is. And she, look, look, it's like the cat that ate the canary. It's all fun and fucking games. It's all fun and games until you turn 37. Branch swinging. Unbelievable. Again, this puts female need this particular clip and shout out goes uh, shout out to to uh, BK from the Rockies. Yes. All women have backup dick. Freelance Ronan. All, listen, break break in case of emergency. All listen. Every female has a backup plan. Every one of them. That's all there is to it. That is all there is to it. When we return, we are going to discuss